Hi everyone, so this is the recipe for the spring chicken um, that you saw in my previous grocery and meals um, video. Um, it's really simple, it's actually Nigella Lawson's um, recipe, uh, this one, kitchen it's called. Um, absolutely love it, it's really simple. So what you need is chicken thighs, We're, I've got four chicken thighs here. We, she actually uses um, pancetta, but I don't. I usually just use bacon, or you can use streaky bacon. Um, I use just smoked back bacon rashers, um, and I'm probably going to use about three rashers. We need some lettuce, any sort of lettuce, baby jam, or just sort of iceberg lettuce. One leek. This is two um, sort of strips of celery cut up, um, and obviously that's optional if you don't like celery. Uh, Dijon, Dijon mustard, uh, dried tarragon, and garlic cloves would be good. I forgot that. <laughs> I forgot the garlic cloves, so I've got garlic granules in replacement, but garlic cloves crushed would be better. One or two, or as many as you like to taste. You also need some dry cider. Um, it does say 500 mils that you will definitely need. Which this is a whole bottle full, um, but I only use usually a glass full. Um, and I will measure that out actually of how much a glass full is. Um, yeah, so it's it recommends dry. This is just one from of our friend's uh, farm shop. So yeah, any cider though. I have used Magnus cider, really tasty with that. So I've yet to try this one, but it looks nice. So a glass full like this um, is 300 mils. So that's how much I usually use. Um, also with the whole um, alcohol thing, um, I've made this recipe over and over again and Graham is completely teetotal, he doesn't like alcohol, um, never drinks it and it doesn't taste like alcohol in your food, it just gives it a really lovely flavour so don't be put off by having sort of cider in your food because it really really tastes lovely and Alistair absolutely loves it too, it just gives it a really nice sauce and frozen peas. So in a large frying pan heat some olive oil or vegetable oil and then add your bacon. So I've browned the bacon off um, and now I'm going to add my chicken thighs, skin down and let them sort of brown and go all golden, sort of crispy. So they've been browning nicely for a good five minutes and now I'm going to add the celery and you would now add the garlic cloves, I'm going to add the granules and the leeks. So I've turned the chicken thighs over and I'm just going to let them all sort of um, saute down for about a few, three to five minutes. So now I'm going to pour in the cider. I think 300 ml is just the right amount. Not too much, I think 500 would just be too much in my opinion. I'm just going to let that bubble away on like a medium heat. So now I'm going to have, add a good sprinkling of um, garden peas and um, a bit of tarragon. So I'm going to give that all a nice stir. Now I have um, the peas and the tarragon in. So I've just put it into sort of a dish. Um, if you've got a lid, that'd be brilliant. I'm just using um, foil. So I'm going to put the foil over the top and bake it. Bake it in the oven. Just put it in the oven for about... Well, I will actually put it on 180 degrees um, for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to add the mustard and the lettuce. So while it's in the oven, I've just cut up about a handful of lettuce. So it's been in the oven for about 20 minutes. I'm, and I'm going to add a heaped teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And I'm going to sprinkle over the lettuce. So now I'm just going to mix it all in, make sure the mustard's sort of um, mixed as well. You can see already the sauce is starting to thicken and sort of change colour. And now I'm going to pop this back in the oven um, on about 200 degrees for about 20 minutes um, until the chicken's cooked. And that is it. And I'm going to serve it with some new potatoes.